Aloha mai kako o Auntie Angela Keia reporting from Pupukea, North Shore, Ma'o'ahu. Um, today I want to talk to you folks about Amakua. So Amakua are guardians specific to individuals, specific to ohanas. It'll vary. They will vary. Um, and that's everything on earth in this realm, in this natural realm um, of things around us in our environment. So anything from pohaku, rocks, to the makani, the winds, um, plants and animals, natural phenomenons represent amakua. And in this story, Battle of the Owls, we see how the pueo, the owl, becomes amakua to kapoi. Um, and it was kind of a, a reciprocity thing, it was an exchange. Because he did not eat the owl eggs, and he dedicated a heiau that he built with his hands to the pueo, regularly made offerings to the heiau for the pueo. Um, the pueo then became his amakua, his guardians. Um, and that's who saved him in the end from kakuhiheba. Um, but in thinking about amakua, amakua is the idea that after our loved ones pass in this lifetime in the realm of kanaka, they move on um, and may return as different entities, whether they're plants, rocks, animals. Um, but these guardians um, guide you in your daily life. You can more listen to them from your na'au, from your pico vaina, right in the center. Um, just those gut feelings. That's your amakua speaking to you. And sometimes they come through omens in, in the way that they appear, whether it's an owl in your presence, um, something that you wouldn't expect, a rainbow, um, maybe the wind flowing at an appropriate time. Um, we also know those as signs or ho'ailona, but more specifically, your amokua will appear to you when they want to, you to receive a message. Um, and so kind of think about that. What are your amokua? Are there any things um, that come up during special times? Are you getting messages from your gut that um that you need to pay more attention to so who are the amakua who are your amakua mahalo